It's very difficult, in fact borderline impossible, for our species to exactly replicate the conditions of space here on Earth. By extension, that also means we have to come up with increasingly wacky ideas to test the effects space has on the human body. Like say, having people sit on makeshift waterbeds. Our experience with space travel made us look closer at how space impacts humans. Many studies are currently ongoing to properly understand how weightlessness leads to the loss of muscle and bone density, the changes in the shape of the eye globes, and the shifting of fluids to the brain. One of these studies is called Vivaldi, and it is being run at the Meads Space Clinic in Toulouse, France with help from the European Space Agency. In a nutshell, Vivaldi is all about having volunteers sit on makeshift waterbeds for 10 days. In scientific speak, the study is an experiment in dry immersion. What that means is the volunteers are asked to lie down in bathtub-like containers filled with water. These guys and girls do not actually get into the water, though, but lie on a waterproof fabric that submerges, without wetting, most of their bodies, except for the upper part of the torso, the arms, and the head. As per the scientists doing this, the method allows the participants to experience a sensation of floating without physical support, which is the closest we can get to actually experiencing weightlessness on the International Space Station. The Vivaldi effort is presently in its third stage, which is also the final one. In the first and second stages of the study, volunteer women and men had to lie in the water for five days, but this time scientists have increased the duration to 10 days, and they're running this experiment in parallel with a separate, 10-day head-down bed rest test. Also, stage 3 involves only male volunteers. The stay in the bathtub is quite an active one. The participants have to undergo a series of medical experiments that try to recreate the effects of spaceflight on the body. Doctors are looking in particular at the changes that may occur in the neurological, cardiovascular, and metabolic systems. Hormonal changes, immune responses, and connections between the nervous and vision systems are also being tracked. When eating, they are provided with a floating board and a neck pillow, while for bathroom breaks the volunteers are transferred onto a trolley, without shifting their laid-back position. Although the goal of the research is primarily to inform ESA about the dangers of spaceflight, whatever discoveries may come from this could also be used to advance Earth medicine, as it may help design new treatments for patients bedridden for long periods of time, the elderly and those with musculoskeletal conditions.